Hello, today I have a question concerned with uh, uh, plus two cores and it is about uh, uh, telescope as you can see here, telescope. So it says that, it asks that what happens to the features of a telescope, telescope if its objective and eyepiece are reversed. As you know, uh, in a telescope we have got uh, two primary lens systems. One is uh, objective which uh, turns towards the object and one is the eyepiece which is towards the eye. And, uh, uh, and, uh, <coughs> and uh, uh, whether the final image is formed at infinity or at the near point, near point, the basic setup is the same. Setup is the same. Now, what happens is uh, during the uh, calculation of magnification, what we uh, found was, or what we have been taught, what we do is that the magnification of the telescope uh, becomes equal to becomes equal to focal length of objective lens divided by focal length of eyepiece lens. And this happens when this happens when the image is at infinity. Image at infinity. <coughs> at infinity. So, and uh, what we do is in order to have a high magnification. So when it is uh, we have high magnification, the visual angle is more, and the object appears to be much more nearer. So that's why in order to have a high magnification, what we have done is what we have done is this F O is more than F E. We chose F O more and uh, F E less. And this is also evident from the telescopes used by uh, Galileo, people like Galileo uh, many years back when the telescope used to be very long, very long. It's because FO has to be very large and FE has to be very short. Now if we reverse, if we reverse the objective and IP, so that means uh, I was watching like this, if I reverse like this. So if I do so, what happens is, what happens is uh, the new focal length of the the new focal length of the objective new so f o new will be equal to f e the initial eyepiece becomes the becomes the new objective so that's why the new focal length of the objective becomes the old focal length of the eyepiece and the new focal length of the eyepiece so focal length of eyepiece new is equal to f o so now this makes us our new magnification Magnification new should be equal to should be equal to from here. I must have the relation F O N divided by F E N F E N which is equal to is equal to F E by F O. So old F E by old F O. Now since I have got F O is large and F E is small, so this will be here. I will have F E very very small and F O very very large. So this quantity will be very very small than 1. So it will be small than 1. Here we have made it more than 1. So now it becomes less than 1. <coughs> so now let's take an example. Let's take an example. Let us say this FO equal to uh, 20 centimeter, 20 centimeter and FE is equal to 2 centimeter, 2 centimeter. With that the old magnification becomes M is equal to 20 by 2 equal to 10, equal to 10. But now the new magnification will be equal to, so this will be uh, 10 by 1, this will be 10 by 1, now it becomes 1 by 10, 1 by 10, it is uh, 1 by 10 or 0 0.1. So actual, actually what happens is normally it is 1. What does telescope make? 10. And what does the reverse makes? 0 0.1. So instead of 10, we are saying 0 0.1. Instead of 10, we are saying 0 0.1. So that means this 0 0.1 is 100 times less than this 10. 1 is less, uh, uh, 10 times less than 10. 0 0.1 is 100 times less than 10. So our, according to our expectation, we expected 10. And we are getting 0 0.1, which means we are getting 100 times less. So that's why we feel that, we feel that instead of appearing nearer, those things appear very, 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 very far away. Very far away. So <coughs> the situation is a bit contrasting thing. People get surprised. It's not just like this, this and this. So what happens is if I do this, it is 10 times nearer. If I do normal, if I do this, it is even 100 times farther than our expectations. So that's why, that's why when things are reversed, the telescope will be diminishing things by the same number of times as we are expected to magnify it. So 10 times instead of 10 times magnification, it will be 10 times diminished, which means according to our expectations, it is 100 times less. So that's what happens when we do such activities. So next time you can try either in binoculars 
or in a telescopes. So first watch like this and then watch like this and see how much it goes far. It, it looks like a black tunnel. Things are appearing just uh, at, at the, the central hole uh, and you'll see a black tunnel there and very, very small. So they're appearing around 100 times smaller here according to this calculation. So if it is uh, 10 and 2, 5, so it will be 1 by 5. So we are expecting 5. It is happening 1, 1 by 5, that's 25 times. So for every ratios, it is somewhat like that.